Okay, let's see where we start here. <laughs> uh, I uh, probably I first heard the music of Bach when I was a teenager in Indianapolis, and I was a folk singer. And uh, like Garrett, I was a bluegrass banjo player. And by the way, Garrett became a classical guitar player, and I became a classical guitar player. Uh, but uh, someone loaned me uh, the Swingle Singers' first LP of Bach, and I had no real awareness of Bach at that point. And I listened to it, and it started a lifelong love of this composer's music. And as time went on, I, I became more intimate and personal in my life, and uh, my love for this music just grew and grew. And uh, In fact, one I remember one uh, fugue of Bach that I listened to uh, every night for an entire summer, the same fugue as I went to sleep. And it, uh, the music just kind of became a part of my daily consciousness. And uh, so that was basically the idea in doing this film, this sense of a personal relationship uh, with the music and that how it kind of affects you in a very kind of uh, maybe even spiritual way. So that was the idea for starting the film. And uh, uh, the th it was a three, three year journey uh, to make Bach and Friends. And it started with nothing more than wanting to share this feeling, uh, feelings that I had for this music. And so, uh, you know, it had no money. Uh, the, uh, the crew worked, uh, believed in the effort and worked on spec for the first shoots. Uh, my wife, Johanna, who the film is dedicated to, uh, supported me basically for these three years uh, of working in the performing arts at the community college uh, that she works at. And uh, so we started doing the shoots and every time I would uh, do a shoot, I would put together an initial cut, put it up on the website and start spreading the word and looking for funding and trying to get something happening. And uh, the thing really started moving when Richard Werman uh, became a fan of the project and introduced it to Mike. And Richard was, I knew Richard from years back, he was in a film I did on the Library of Congress. And uh, Mike was kind enough, as he said, to let me show a 10 minute sample reel at EG7 and uh, uh, funding started coming in right away, thanks to, to Richard and thanks to, to Mike. So all of a sudden I was making a movie and I had some money to start shooting. So I looked at my list, uh, my dream list of my favorite Bach players, and I started contacting people. And uh, to my astonishment, uh, one world-class musician after another agreed to be in the movie. I said, what's going on here? I couldn't believe it, you know? And uh, uh, I mean, I mean it, was, it was amazing. And I it realized that they love the music, you know, and they, it, uh, it's a, a personal kind of thing for them also. And uh, so, uh, and then when people like Josh Bell and, and Richard Stolzman came aboard, I really knew that I was onto something important because, uh, uh, and so we kept shooting. And I think uh, over the next year, we did 36 shoots on $100,000 that was donated to the project, which is, pretty tight filmmaking, New Nashville, uh, New York many times, and Raleigh, and so on. So uh, uh, I, th I guess the thing came uh, full circle when, uh, w when Ward Swingle flew over from Paris on his own dime to be in this project. And uh, so I was, uh, I'm thrilled, of course. So anyway, uh, the, uh, uh, what happened next? Uh, oh, uh, well, uh, one thing I can tell you, I'm really, uh, very proud of the high level of the Bach playing, because even instruments that you wouldn't expect people to be playing Bach on, this is really good Bach playing throughout the entire movie. Uh, but uh, the most transcendent and the most emotional uh, pieces in the movie is, uh, is Josh playing the Chaconne and Richard playing the Chromatic Fantasy. And these are the two of Bach's greatest masterpieces. So, so last year at EG, uh, the audience uh, had the pleasure of uh, hearing Josh stand up on this stage and play the Chaconne, and uh, I'll never forget, and I'm sure many others won't. Uh, and this year, we have the, the wonderful pleasure of uh, another of Bach's great masterpieces, The Chromatic Fantasy. And let me introduce to you the finest clarinet player on the planet. And he's right here, and Richard Stoltzman's going to play The Chromatic Fantasy for you. So come on out, Richard. Richard. 